Jail cells might be the last place you'd expect to see Shakespeare or hear poetry, but the arts are making a comeback in California's prisons. The California Arts Council today announced it signed seven groups to provide art instruction in the state's correctional facilities. I'm here with Laura Pachenko, local UCSD PhD candidate in sociology, who started a new visual arts program at San Diego County's Donovan Prison called Project Paint, and David Beck Brown, who was the artist facilitator at Donovan for decades before it went away the first time. Laura, the state and the Arts Council have teamed up to provide $1 million in grants to return art to the state's prisons. I understand that Project uh, Paint has received some of that money. Tell us about the project. So um, what we are offering is uh, two 16-week courses for the inmates at Donovan. And so it's designed to be an eight-week segment that focuses on 2D art. So we're going to be talking about various um, techniques that have to do with painting and drawing. And then we'll move on to, for the second, um, the second eight-week segment, we'll focus on 3D art. So we're very excited about this because that's not something that we have previously done. So we're going to be focusing on various types of sculpture, uh, some found object work, um, so we're very excited about that. What we're currently offering uh, is a mural project. So we're working on five mobile murals, and these are going into the visiting rooms that Donovan has, one for each of the five yards. Um, so that, you know, obviously is 2D work. We're doing lots of painting, uh, but then the, you know, the um, programming that we'll be doing through the California Arts Council will be much more workshop-based, more class-focused. So aside from what you've just described, what other kind of art instruction will state prisoners receive? So we uh, will actually also be working with a Playwrights Project, which is um, you know, this great group uh, here in San Diego focusing on playwriting. And so they will be coming in. They also got funding from the California Arts Council for our region. We are Region 8 uh, out of the nine regions that uh, the California Arts Council and the California Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation developed. Um, so we are under the umbrella of the William James Association. And so they're actually uh, working with six different regions. And so they have theater programs, they've got uh, painting and drawing, various visual arts. Um, they have uh, you know, some of this playwriting that they're doing as well. They're doing creative writing. They've got all kinds of amazing programs. David, what does art do for inmates? Changes them. Uh, convicts basically are locked in, in a cell. It's, it's the size of your bathroom with another person and they're locked up sometimes 23 hours per day. And you can't touch, you can't touch a convict. It's so this is like one of the only humane ways for them to express themselves. Many of them have never created things. So we've had uh, convicts who have uh, start, start to create and then they debrief, they leave their gangs because they don't, they don't want to become gang pe people because they saw another side of life. And what is their reaction to it when they s first receive this kind of instruction? I've seen a guy cry. You know, I, I mean, uh, he was treated poorly all of his life and he created something and it was perhaps the, the, the only time someone said that he did well and he cried. And people just left him alone because they're in, in their own world, their focus. Often they, they work in, in their cells too, drawing. Laura, what does research say about the ability of art to rehabilitate inmates? There uh, are numerous uh, studies that have been done that document the very, very amazing benefits of these programs. So Larry Brewster is a professor at the University of San Francisco, and he has conducted four separate studies um, You know that follow not only the outcomes uh, quantitatively, but also qualitatively. So his most recent study uh, was in January of this year, and he did uh, four surveys um, that he, or I'm sorry, surveys in four different prisons, and he mm -hmm. found out that the inmates who participated in arts programming ended up having you know benefits that extended far beyond art practice. So they ended up being more motivated, more self-confident. They ended up seeking out additional types of uh, education as well in the prison system. So these have very lasting benefits. So we find... So, oh. so David, does it lower recidivism rates oh, as yes, well? Oh, yes, yes, yes. 
In fact, last uh, Tuesday, two, two days ago, we had a large uh, riot of 290 uh, in, inmates, and that's at uh, Calipat, Calipatria State, and they don't have a, an arts program. Uh, people have to express themselves, and if you don't bring in theater or something for them to express themselves, they're going to be uh, doing it in other ways. And we've got to wrap it there. David, Laura, thanks so much for coming on the program. Thank you very much.